Hey everyone, I'm Steven Tube 1967 and we are in the infected still because when you enjoy something this much you can't help but do nothing but this. Alright, so today I want to get some power going. It's been a while. We need to get these things up and going so we can start generating power for our base. And, you know, I need to generate oil for for the extractor, for the mineral extractor. Although I am, okay, let's see, it should be all the iron there for right now. Even though right now, I have this case out here and I have it working on uh, spoiling some food. So I caught a bunch of fish because they're like one of the easiest things in the world to get. And um, the plan will be to um, make some biofuel from that to run to get the mineral extractor up and running again while we wait for this to give us power while we wait for the uh, oil extractor okay so we need four there and over here I'm gonna get one battery going okay we got that and yes, I do I do promise you we will be doing some work on this on um, building this base. One of the reasons why I'm kinda slow on getting anything done is I'm not sure I think I only need six. So I'm not sure what I want to do with the base. And I don't want to put a lot of time into starting to build it if you know I'm not happy with the end result. The last base that I had, or in the, the last patch before this patch came out, um, okay, what's wrong? Oh, that doesn't take, it doesn't take it. That's not, there you go. <laughs> that was the item that takes it. Okay, so let's get some copper. And I, I'm very certain that I have enough of everything now. Alright, good. So, no power coming in. And... So, I'm going with the windmill for right now. As expensive as the aluminum component is, I, th I think that maybe the fact that it's going to give us 20 power consistently all day long kind of makes it worthwhile to uh, have it. Okay. It's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright. Yeah. We got to get these extractors, these uh, mineral extractors up and going all the time. Okay. So there's nothing to do here it's just 20 of 20 and I can move it around if I want um, wonder where I should put it maybe I should just like you know put it put it over here maybe does that look okay is that the right direction maybe I should turn it around I'm going to run into that. <laughs> I'm going to run. I know I'm going to run right into that. Every time I come down here. So. There. That gives us a little more room to come up and down. So. We have aluminum that we get over here. Can you see that's that's the type of ore. I left that there. Because that's aluminum. Um, let's see. I want to make. What do we want to make? We want to make some more biofuel okay that's workbench spoiled fuel times three right now the workbench is out here there's, there's really not enough room inside for it one two three biofuel okay I think we need four of them let me check my stats yeah let's eat this watermelon yeah dried meat Okay, good. We got a ton of dried meat there. And we got all the fish in the, all the fish in the world. 
So we're not worried about that. Okay, those are going to take a while. These should be spoiling very soon. Yeah, those are all going to spoil. Some of these I got recently. So they'll spoil. And uh, let's see. We need, oh, we need aluminum. We need four aluminum ingots and five electrical parts. So we're not quite done yet. So we got constant. We got two power, two stored. Oil extractor. All right. Okay, so we need quite a bit of power coming in here to run the oil extractor. Because right now that's not enough. We, we can't power it on until we get more power. So we're probably going to probably want to put some solar panels up. Four. Oh, I don't have enough. I'm missing one. No, we have enough. We have enough aluminum. Okay, we need five electrical parts. And I'm just going to grab the whole thing. And there we go. So we have everything. Let's see. I'm just going to put that right there. There you go. So we got some storage. <sighs> I led her just right. Just right. If she would have stopped or or turned her direction to be, you know, a little different, the arrow would have just gone flying and who knows, I would never have gotten it back. <laughs> I know. It's like, why you say that? That's awful. That was a human one time. Yeah, you're right, it was. Okay. I'm just going to put that right in there. Just for right now, I just want to keep it out keep it inside because why not so there you go so we got some electrical power we got capacity power stored so this is going up we need a hundred power yeah we do need to get some more some more going but so what we're hoping is if I can get in oh look at that look at that one two three one two three one two three one two three one, two, three. I'm just gonna leave that one there. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at all that spoiled food. So nice. So we're in good shape now. We have enough to get the extractor here going. And that should, we only need, yeah, we only need four. From what, from what we saw in the last video about the extractors, um, we only need four biofuel to get that going, to, to fill this up. Anything more than that, you know, I wonder what happens. If you put more than four of oil or the biofuel in there, I wonder if it... Um, takes that into account and runs that much longer or if you're wasting your your uh your your fuel do i need this or do i need yeah we need this to get going too we're, we're going to make some more we're going to make one more for this one and then i am definitely going to run up oh look at all that right there so i'm definitely going to uh make a run oops make a run up to the copper extractor and uh, check on that because from what I understand or not what I understand but what I think so I don't know if there's anywhere it's written down how long the uh, mineral extractor will run when it's full of fuel and I think the answer I think that it's, um, in all likelihood, it runs, I think it runs like, what is it? I think it runs for like three full months. 
So that's like six days. I think. I could be wrong about that. The important thing is, though, is we're getting power. We're getting consistent power. Now, if we turn this on, this isn't going... The oil extract, this won't stay on very long. If we turn this on right now, it's probably going to lose power before it finishes. Okay, we've got that on. Let's take a look here at how fast we'll even get a chance to run one cycle. Yeah, it's it's running down. And my guess is yeah, before this even even runs and get what makes us one can of oil, this will have hit zero. And then it's not gonna it's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna turn that off because this this is gonna run out. That's gonna run out before we know it. Yep. Alright, so um I think that's all I wanted to do for this video is I just wanted to go through getting uh, these these at least get the electrical power getting it going um, we definitely I mean I, I think I like the idea of having 20 consistent power over the um, the solar panels but the solar panels are cheaper to make so I don't know if you guys have an idea, man, throw it down in the comments. If you absolutely know for sure that the solar panels are the best bang for our buck or that the, that the, uh, the wind machine is better use of our money or the wind turbine, our best use of our resources, then, yeah, go ahead, throw a comment in there. Let's see what we can uh, see if anyone out there really knows for sure what's going on. Because right now it's like, it's very expensive just to get one going. But as long as I go, and I'm going to keep fishing. I'm going to like fish like a crazy man. And get a whole bunch of spoiled fuel, food, food going so I can make biofuel. And yeah, get everything um, up to snuff. Get this space going with power. And we will do some building I have an idea already of what I want my base to look like. I think. I think, you know. And, uh, yeah, we'll build that. Also, we're going to work on that wall that's out there. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks a whole bunch for watching. And, in, and again, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And you can hit the notification bell to give you self-alerts. When my next video comes out and i will be doing videos i'm trying to get at least two videos put out per day for just the infected i want to do subsistence and a little less miss survival just because miss survival's kind of run its course we really need new content in there for me to want to go into miss survival subsistence yeah there's there's more content i can do but this is fresh we still need a lot of work to be done to get everything <sighs> set up and uh yeah we gotta build the wall or build the fence yeah all right that's it for this video guys thanks for watching see you in the next one and later dudes